let us pray thank you heavenly father for the promise of eternal life that we have in Christ Jesus through the gospel thank you for as many as have believed the word of God I bless your name and worship you we thank you father we praise you Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen. You can be seated. The brief exhortation I want to give is on the witness of God is greater. Everybody say it. Say it again. Holiness Revival Movement and myself, Pastor Paul Ricker, have opportunity to be examined by the Pharisees of the world. The opposers, the Sadducees, I call them so because Jesus was never Put to examination by his disciples. The disciples are always rejoicing. Always rejoicing for Jesus. And Jesus rejoiced with them. Even Father, so it has pleased you. You have hid these things from the wise and prudent of the world and have revealed them to babes. Disciples are always rejoicing. So the true members, worshippers of God in holiness movement, are always rejoicing for Pastor Paul Rica, for Sister Linda. They have nothing against them. No. Is there anybody who has something against them? No. You are rejoicing for the life you have found. You are rejoicing for the truth you have found. You have nothing with criticizing them. Nothing. No. He that is not against me is for for me and he that is for me is not against me but the Pharisees and the Sadducees the hypocrites who are not in the congregation of Jesus who have not yielded to Jesus were always troubling him and giving him various names giving him various various challenges if he delights jesus to answer them fine otherwise it's not his business with them he does his work on and leaves them because it's sidetraction it is distraction to be given attention to those people as long as you know your righteousness if you want to give attention to sinners in their own criticism, then you won't have time to walk. You can't be fighting there and doing the work at the same time. I don't do that. When my Sambo came out of this ministry, at first, the testimony of Sambo was a pastor has done no wrong. The testimony of Sambo at first, when he came out in the first few months, pastor has done nothing wrong. But gradually, the enemy, the devil of his soul, took him very far 
and began to feed him with things only himself and God would settle. But I didn't answer my Kisambo, no. Until God one day said, because people are going, I thought that people would have known that this is vanity. But human beings are so cheap in the hands of Satan. can easily get them. And people were responding. People were really leaving holiness. Hey, they said, hey, they said, pastor cannot forgive. Hey, they said, he came to pastor. Pastor kicked him with the leg. Hey, he came with his wife and cried. Pastor, where did this thing happen? I thought they should know that their pastor cannot do this. And that these were lies. But some people were responding. Eh, eh, hey, I won't come again. Ah! Until one time, unprepared, just like what I'm talking to you is unprepared. I didn't know I would talk to you. The message is already ready. I'm talking unprepared. If you see in my form, what I was trying to form message, but it's too late. So I just have to come because I didn't know. I wanted to see, to just give you a brief something. Unprepared in Kaduna, the Lord said, Tell the congregation your part in the issue of Mike Sambo. Reveal everything that God gave you. It was not an accusation against him. I was talking to the church, not the world. As for the world, they have not known Jesus. What will you do? They are children of the devil. They are children of their father is a liar. There's nothing you can do for them. Don't bother yourself. In fact, there's an adage that says, don't bother yourself to convince your loyalists. They are already with you. They are already with you. Don't bother yourself to prove your right or innocency before your enemies, there's no word you will say. Whatever you say will not enter into them. They are, by the way, are they looking for your good? Are they looking for your justice? They are acting out of envy, jealousy, and pride. So which words are you going to say? To quell their pride. Nothing. Leave them. Let them continue. But there's a law of life. Human beings don't want to be hearing the same thing always. Anything that comes up suddenly will at a time vanish. In the law of human beings and information. It, it will, the firewood will eventually finish and the fire will quench. The foil will eventually finish and the light will quench. The petrol will eventually finish and the generator will quench. So leave them until if God doesn't intercept on the way in his judgment or in their conversion, it will still happen. Their power will finish one day. Praise the Lord. But for the church that they are seeking to destroy, we must protect them. It is you they want to destroy. It's you. The whole thing is you. We have come to understand something that the Muslims were doing in this country. Their own aim is to fight the religion called Christianity. That is what they hate. But when they come, they will just pick a society, a community, and give a fault to that community. So that when they are dealing to wipe out that community, the neighboring community will say, ah, they have not come to us. Hey, we didn't do anything. Hey, they are, in fact, they are telling us that, no, they are not coming to us because it's because this community did like this. That's why they were fighting. So please don't interfere so that we don't come to you too. They, they don't know that they are picking them one by 
one. Because if they come and all the community join up in their power, it will, they will not stand. So these people are picking people one by one. And the rest of the brethren don't know is for them. Strike the shepherd. What will happen to the sheep? If Pastor Rica is discredited or dies, what will happen to you? Many people will never go to heaven again. Who's name in the book of life? And you may be one of them. Because God attaches some things to a man. Pray for your leaders. Protect your shepherd so that you yourself will not scatter. So that your Christianity will not, stop, will not end. Let's be wise at satanic works. Let's be wise. These people speaking are sinners, not true members of the church looking for righteousness to, so that they can be defied and move forward. No. It's the voice of strangers. The voice of sinners. I said, a man who has children and has followers, maybe a leader of an organization, is being accused that he went to a filling station and filled his cars with foil and didn't pay but didn't pay the agent or the operator and went to his way this information uh, when maybe some people had it they came to the man to the front of the man's gate and were shouting you are a thief you came to filling station loaded and filled your vehicles and went and refused to pay you are a thief if you are standing there will you draw closer to that man to hear the man shouting at the, that big man will you go closer to him to hear him and ask him hey is that what he did he came to your station will you do that what will you do if you have anything to tell him have you sought his audience have you gone to prove those things have you gone to him and shown your proof or you pick an information on the roadside what they are saying on the roadside and you came to embarrass this big man by standing and say let everybody passing by whoever is in his house let him hear to know that this man staying with us is a wicked man is it Jesus that will send that type of person? I want you people to judge righteous judgment. Don't join these sentimental people. Don't join these wicked people. You should have understanding. You should have your senses. You should be mature. The first question is, did you see him? To tell him this. Even you yourself talking now. What truth do you have? Even if you say you produce truth. Have you gone to him? Did you come to destroy him? Or you come to help him better in life? That's the question. Because what you are doing now is to destroy his image. And in it has Christ come 
to destroy the world? Did God, did God send his son to condemn the world or to save it? God did not send his son to condemn the world. But that what? The world should be saved through him. So, but this condemnation you are bringing in character of this great man, God is not inside. You should be interested in righteousness. Your ears should be sharp to hear words that will improve you. Take heed what ye hear. To him that hear it, much shall be given to him. And the words of a backbiting tongue burn it as fire in your heart. You will not, it will not give you rest. They have introduced a battle into your heart. As we sit down now peaceful, if somebody tells you Boko Haram has entered into this camp, our service will be affected. Is that true? Because of the information we have had, our service will be, informed, will be affected. If truly Boko Haram has come, have come in, well, it's irrelevant information. But the enemy uses lies to fight. The Bible says, Ye are of your father the devil. The deeds of your father ye will do. He was for he was a murderer and a liar and the father of it. Satan is the father of liars because he was, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of himself. For he is a liar and the father of it. Now, uh, with this understanding, let's go to John chapter 5. John chapter 5 verse 36 to 40. The Bible says, But I have greater witness than of John for the works which the Father had given me to finish. The same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father had sent me. Children of God, put your heart on things that are true. When some people were sent to arrest Jesus, he, that man is a sinner. They went. But when they heard Jesus, they didn't arrest him. Because, why have you not brought him? Never a man speaks like this man. Just hearing his words. And many of you have heard my words for more than five years. How many of you have heard my words more than five years? You see crowd of people. If this man speaking were a sinner, for these five years, you will not see. Can you tell me any preacher in the world here that has spoken consistently and you cannot pick who he is? Does he even need to be five years? Give him one week. Let him speak consistently like this. You will know the man. Have you had me for five years? For seven years? Some of you even to, the, uh, to ten years? And some more, and, and they told you he's a sinner. You say, I'm confused. Then you are not a true follower of God. You are not. Your heart is not here. People were following Jesus as disciples, even. But when Jesus gave a message, except you drink my blood and eat my flesh, you have no life in you. If you don't understand that statement, 
you will just take it by faith because Jesus had said the things which I speak to you thou canst not what? understand them now but thou will, can, will understand them later is that not what Jesus said? if you believe in the man the leader God gives you even if he said something there's something you will say this man is righteous Although I do not understand this, sin is still not there. Even although sinners accuse him of this, he has not sinned because I know him. The witness of the works he does is, is you know them. The witness, the works he does, you will know this man is of God or is a sinner. Amen? You will know. Take something into your tongue. Your tongue will tell you whether it is sweet, it is bitter, it is sour, it has spoiled. Your tongue will tell you. Your ears, exercise in hearing, will say, maybe your wife cooked food and the salt was more. I said, ah, there's too much salt. He said, no, you, don't, you are not testing it very well. You say, I didn't start eating today. Amen. I've been eating for a long time. And now I am exercised in eating. If I cannot cook very well, but I can eat very well. And I know which food is good and which food is not good. By reason of exercise. By reason of practice. That is how it is. You will know. So I believe you don't have business with these people outside. Whatever they say. Because the Bible says the works of Pastor Porica bear him witness. God is with him. He's not a liar. Let's move on. Again, but he said, verse 37, and the father himself, which had sent me, had borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. My works, John the Baptist has borne witness of me my works bear witness of me who again the father of creation the god of the souls of all men the father of the spirits of all men bear witness of me then concerning this well let's see uh, verse 38, and ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he had sent him, ye believe not. Anybody that raises sound like this to criticize Pastor Rica, Sister Linda, has no God in him. Doesn't know him. Anybody. That's why I felt that you should know these are sinners. These are sinners. Anybody that raises her hand against Pastor Porica, Sister Linda, has no God in him as far as this ministry work is concerned. But who are they? Who are doing this? Psalm 12, verse 1 to verse 4. Psalm 12, it says, Help, Lord, for the godly man seized, for the faithful fall on a fell from among the children of men. They speak vanity. Everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips, 
and with a double heart do they speak. There are many interpretations you can give to verse 1. By the, by the tongue of these people, godly mean. People, people, people that mean took them to be godly, have been, their characters have been assassinated. They are vanishing. They are whom do we trust? Whom then do we trust? The godly man sees it. And he said what? How is it? They speak vanity. Everyone with his, with his neighbor. With flattering lips. And with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut of all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Read verse 4. One, two, go. Who have said with our tongue we will prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Who can control us? We have no conscience. Our lips are our own to assassinate godly men in the society so that you won't see anyone what are they aiming at it's god himself because it means jesus can, the gospel of christ cannot produce a righteous man it's a lie you don't know where the battle is coming from it's higher than human beings it's in the realm of spirits it's a challenge to Jesus. Your gospel cannot produce a righteous man. Your gospel cannot produce a righteous church. Because the world is looking to holiness movement with their tongue. They will tell the world to forget that place. Forget it. Then no place. No place. They don't have a place. And now they're destroying people. Woe to you, Pharisees, scribes, Sadducees, hypocrites. Ye shut the kingdom of God against others. Ye yourself would not enter, but ye would not allow those who want to enter to enter. That's what is going on. As I have spoken to you of my righteousness, Paul spoke it. If I don't speak who I am, you will think I am like other ministers. That's what they're thinking. That is what they're thinking. In First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, chapter two, verse ten. First Thessalonians. Chapter 2, verse 10. The Bible tells us, saying, Ye are witnesses, and God also, how holily and justly and unblameably we behaved ourselves among you that believe. Can we say it in it? Can we read it again in the chorus? Second I mean, first Thessalonians chapter two, verse ten. One, two, go. We behave ourselves among which people? We behave ourselves among which people? Do we have problem to prove our righteousness to sinners? That we are, we are affecting them witches and wizards. We have entered into their kingdom and dismantled it. We are breaking the powers of darkness there. We are exposing them. Are they the ones that will justify our righteousness? It's among you that believe. We have no problem with what they are saying. We have no problem with their cry. 
We have no problem with their cry. Some thieves are crying against commissioner police. This man arrested us. If you see the way he, he, he tortured us, he put tear gas in our eyes. In fact, this man is a wicked man. What will he be saying to them? <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? Will you support the oh that man is really wicked? I have heard of that commissioner of police. Then you are their father. You are their brother. You are a thief. We are more speaking to them that believe. Now, if it concerns them that believe, you have come to church as a church service in this camp for quite some years now. Do you have anything against me? Can any one of you here point out an evil I did against somebody? Them that believe have no problem. My conscience is free towards you. I have not hurt you. Even if I rebuke you publicly, you will have understood. Others around me will understand. Them that believe. What about you who have worked with me in the camp as my staff? Have I done anything against you? You have worked for all this while here with me. Can you say something against me? Yes, that man is like that. Can you say it? Bring forth, let me see. Is there anybody who has anything to say? No. You know, among you that believe, will Paul be bothering what occultic people will be saying on him? Whatever abuse. Yeah. They that are godly in Christ Jesus. What would they suffer? Must suffer persecution. Don't bother with those people. They are not believers. And I have no business to prove to them I am righteous. It will not work. I've hurt them. The Bible says uh, lie is a problem to darkness. The light shines it and the darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness cannot stay with it. Light in itself is an offense. Let a vehicle be going on its own from here to cross over to that other road there. Any boy and girl standing in the corner of that road will abuse the driver. Has it been, do you understand that? Because they were robbing themselves. I must have to stop. Because an innocent vehicle is coming from somewhere in the night to pass and has brightened up everywhere that they must either run away from there or stop. Everybody face another direction. You face so that the world who is seeing will know that you are not doing anything. Would they be, whoever is the driver, would they be happy with him? Darkness hated the light because the deeds are manifest. So is it the sinners that will bring forth accusations that will be bothering you? That, you, that is drawing your attention you have been hypnotized. You have been sidetracked. You have been distracted. And you have been removed. They are removing you from the kingdom. Because that is a temptation to you. They are removing you from the kingdom of God. What does the Bible say? Proverbs chapter 14, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him 
the lips of knowledge. Now say it again. One, two, go. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 7. Why do you read pornography? You know that evil is there. Why do you watch that picture in the newspaper? Naked woman. That short skate woman. If you fix your eyes there, are you not seeing? Why you are browsing a pornographic picture crop up? Why do you give it one minute look? You're gone. Why are you developing interest in that picture? You're gone. Why do you read foolish writing against God, against a true man of God? Why do you read it? If you believe that man is righteous, why are you reading things against him? You want to destroy yourself? You want Satan to school you and remove you. Satan can remove you very neatly. He removed angels from heaven under accusation to the perfect creator. He got up to one tate of them. Are you holier than angels? I can read it. And you are destroying yourself. Proverbs chapter 4. Verse 23. Okay, let me start from verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Take this thing I'm saying seriously. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are alive unto those that find them. And held to all their flesh. Verse 23. One, two, go. Keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life don't think that nothing will touch me are you holier than the angels are you but they fell because they fell in keeping their heart before Satan they thought and God will help me. God, God didn't help them because they broke the law. God didn't help them. You do not know, brethren, this our God is great. Before I came to be a leader here, the Lord passed me through the fire. Before he gave me holiness of our movement, he passed me through the fire to know whether I am the man I can do it because the king chooses his soldiers in the battlefront his captains in the battlefront let them go and let me watch and see how they perform and the lord king of kings chooses his Gospel generals in the battlefront of persecution and affliction. I'm well aware of this. Therefore, my character during this period must be well calculated, inspired, everything. I will come out of this situation that when I come out, one, that I may not die in it. What's the reward of all my labor? Two, that I may not suffer fatal injury. It will reduce my anointing in ministry. I want to come out neat. That's why I follow everything by scripture. And must be sure the Lord is leading me. When he dropped in me, share this thing I'm going to tell you.
I said, but we're going to listen to my persecution by Sister Linda, which is a great thing. Must I go and intercept? I asked God, go. It has become the message of the day now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's why I'm here. Make sure everything is by God because it is God. The way I say eh, the false accusation were laid against me, evil, wicked plan that is laid against me, God is aware. God allowed them. Since they allowed them, Job said, he gave it, he brought it. Have we received good from the Lord? And shall we not receive evil? These are the evil days. Which the Lord had said, stand strong, that ye may be able to overcome the wiles of the devil. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. This is my evil day. I'm raised up to the cross for the whole world to see. Say anything you want to say on him. This is my evil day. If I am not strong in the Lord, it will end all this thing we're doing. But it will not touch one finger. <laughs> because I passed my exam yesterday. This have been coming. You have not heard what I suffer. In the church the Lord brought me from to this place. You didn't hear. Because I passed my exams from part one. Now this is the final year. This is my last exam. If you check my performance in year one, year two, year three, year four. Is it this year five that we're running up, up now that I will fail? I have passed already. Praise the Lord. Keep your heart with all diligence. Don't read those things. Don't transfer them to another. Strike them out of your WhatsApp or your what, wherever you have. Get them off. They are there as angel of darkness for you to stumble in the next five years, ten years. Because maybe in this battle of life, the devil may lay hand on you tomorrow and I have to deal strongly with you to deliver you. And your mind will say, go back and read what those people say. Go back and read. It shall be for your fall. Keep all medicines away from children. Have you received that instruction? Because they don't have understanding. They may play around that side, and whatever they see, they will swallow. Keep all me, keep those things away from your life, keep those things away from your brethren. Don't keep them, you'll be digging a pit for your life tomorrow. Now, having got this. Let us now go to First John chapter 5. I read from verse 9. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he had testified of his son. How many witnesses in this scripture? Huh? One is the witness of men. The second one is the witness of God. Now the scripture is saying, if men come to give you 
a witness concerning somebody. And God comes to give a witness concerning that person. Whose witness is greater? The witness of God is greater. There's this song, whose, whose, we, whose, uh, whose record will you believe? Uh, whose report? Please, give it somebody to start. Let's sing it just for a short time. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose join report me, will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says I am free. His report says I am healed. His report says I am healed. His report says victory. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of. Tell me whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am free. His report says, I am healed. His report says, I am free. His report says, victory. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. He's Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible says, If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. Have you tried to know the witness of God over Pastor Rika? Over Sister Linda? Over holiness revival movement? We shall enter into it now. Because for this is the witness of God which he has testified of his son. Now bring your microphone. All you have heard that came from God to testify that Pastor Rika is his divine choice. Pastor Rika is his righteous servant. Sister Linda is sent by him, not a snake. That Sister Linda has brought ways to serve the world. Now we're going to hear it. Let's talk it. Let those who have ears to hear. Now bring the microphone. Bring two microphones. Let's be picking them one by one. Yes, yeah, do you have any report you have heard from Jesus? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm speaking on behalf of my wife. Um, she was not with um, Oremo for so many years. And I was praying, telling God to reveal Oremo to my wife. To know that, Face another direction. To know that her husband is in the right place. Because she was going to another uh, ministry, and I was coming to Oremo. So she complained to the pastor in that uh, ministry that my husband is not happy that I'm not following him to Oremo. The man I said, why not go and pray to God about that ministry? So I didn't know. Secretly, my wife was praying, and she had a revelation that Dadirika appeared, and the Lord spoke to her, where your husband is is the right place. Show him there. That was what brought my wife to Holy Orimo. Praise the Lord. Yes. What you have heard, what you have seen, if it is you, yourself, fine, if what you have heard, we just want to give the Lord's witnesses. Praise the Lord. I hear many witnesses about him on Jesus himself. He say he compared his word to make sure every pastor gathered there and compare their word. Are you going to get the same way? So truly, if he, every one of us here, we can be a witness that, that the, if he compare the preaching of the world, you will see that they're different, far, far different. Praise God. My name is Brother Amonde Ezi. Jesus, he said, personally appear. He said, Porika, I choosing him by myself. And I speak through Pastor Porika, I just using flesh. 
a penitent to Pastor Porica and he revealed, he revealed to me how exactly he used it. He used Pastor Porica as he, he lived it. So he entered Pastor Porica preaching to every congregation. So the way we have been hearing from Pastor Porica is not Pastor Porica in word. Even in that revelation, say, compare the word. Can man speak like this? Can man read book like this? Can man have this wisdom on the earth? He cannot. So I use Paul by myself. I speak to the world. And many weaknesses also you will be hearing how the Dedeka preach, how Jesus is the Dedeka, not from one, not from two, not from three. Many that you can't even count. Praise God. That's what Jesus said to Praise me. the Lord. Hallelujah. Wait, wait. They can trace the message of Monday who? Monday easy. Monday easy on the net to get the details of what the Lord gave him. And he spoke to the world concerning Pastor Paul Rica. And if truly Pastor Paul Rica is the man Jesus has put on, and they're throwing stones, setting fire on him, whom are they throwing stones at? Jesus. Whom are they setting fire at? Jesus. Can a sensible man who loves Jesus, minister who says I'm serving Jesus, do that? Yes, uh, the next person. Praise the Lord. Yes, I will speak of what I've heard and also what I've experienced and seen. Praise the Lord. Just some uh, weeks past, the message came on the internet, spread worldwide from a brother in Namibia, Brother Neyman. And uh, he explained, the Lord showed him a revelation of many pastors. In fact, I was writing down up to 45 different pastors. This is out of my way. This one is using juju power. This one is serving the devil. This one has joined Illuminati. This one is condemned already. Mention many. Then who then is the, who are we to listen to? The Lord showed him Pastor Paul Rica and uh, Sister Linda Paul Rica. He said they were, they appeared in glory, beauty. He could not, even looking at them, it was shining. And the Lord said, I have my movement. Pastor Paul Rica is my servant. I have put my words in him. And uh, even this brother that just spoke, Brother Monday, who has been in my zone, in Yanya zone before. So the message he showed in that message, the Lord told him, I'm going to show you the general overseer of the whole world, of all the Christians, of all the pastors. That is the pastor of pastors. Praise the Lord. He was expecting somebody coming in a great convoy with a big cap, maybe of an archbishop, with all this uh, you know, flamboyant dressing and a big vehicle with a mobile police. But all of a sudden, a white car just came. And then Pastor Paul Rica, he didn't know him at that time, just jumped out. Where is the person waiting for me? He saw the brother, he saw the pastor, but he withdrew. He didn't want to come out. Shut, shut. Praise the Lord. And also in that revelation, the Lord showed him, this is the man I have chosen. Well, I will not sing a song for her mommy. She is here herself. The Lord has shown her many ways. Then also I remember the message that came from uh, brother Michael Thomas Sambo. Because he said, the Lord took him in a revelation to show him, I think this happened many years ago, maybe about 10 years ago or so. And the Lord took him in a revelation, not his main experience he had, to show him holiness, revival, movement worldwide. And the Lord brought him to a building that is like a story building, which me I'm believing it is this our building here in the camp. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he saw vehicles parked, evangelism vehicles, ready for evangelism with tracts, with materials. And the Lord took him to the upstairs and to the office of the international director and they saw written an inscription on the door office of the international director that is how that title that uh, name of, because we have general overseer general superintendent but the holiness movement the lord jesus christ is the general overseer praise the lord so he saw pastor paul rica seated at his desk and then he told him this is the leader of the movement. I've brought you here to walk under him, to serve him, and you to work out your salvation. And there are many others. On our mommy, Sister Linda, the Lord showed one of the pastors 
that a very popular preacher here, that is uh, Johnson Suleiman, he showed to this brother in Namibia that this Johnson Suleiman is out of my way. That part of his sins, apart from that he's, a worldly, he's preaching worldliness, he's not preaching righteousness, he insulted, he was making mockery of the message the Lord gave to our mommy, Sister Linda. He said, this message is my message. I am the one giving it. Anybody mocking this message is mocking me. And that he has to repent from that. Praise the Lord. Abraham Yakubu said something. Abraham Yakubu was somebody the Lord gave a message, divine revelation encounter. So he came to massacre and was sharing. The opportunity was given to him. And when he was sharing, he said, he prayed. He was asking God that I'm hearing that Pastor Porika is now the one you have given this mantle of holiness. How did it happen? So the Lord spoke, he said the Lord spoke to him that, you know, my servant, W.F. Kumuyi, is old now and anything can happen. That was what Abraham Yakubu said, that that is why I have raised up Pastor Paul Rika as the person, I've given him the uh, mandate to preach and proclaim holiness. Then again, there is this prophet in Togo called Gabriel that came some seven years or six years ago and said he had a revelation. Well, I'm mentioning Gabriel of Togo because these are people that some people know about that were posting things on the internet. That the Lord gave him a revelation many, some years ago that the person is, he has chosen to preach holiness and gather the church is coming that uh, he has a message for him so he was saying how will i see this man he's in nigeria i'm in togo he said don't worry he will be coming to togo his yes he gave pastor him the name for Por pastor porika that he will be coming to togo so somebody was doing a uh, publicizing our program pastor peter of togo when he invited daddy to togo so they were doing publicity and this paper is got this people that came to him he said this is exactly the name god gave to him so he came for the uh, meeting and the Lord Stephen showed him some other revelations that uh, daddy will be getting yes, married to yes, Sister pick, Linda. Pick, pick, then pick, again, pick. Zipporah of Kaduna. The Lord gave her a revelation. That's the Sister Zipporah that had a revelation some uh, months after Mom Melinda's message has been going around. Then the Lord showed her that I am the one that sent Sister Linda with the message. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Isaiah Paul. Um, 2013, in Massacre, um, the, the Spirit of the Lord ministered to me that this is the Daniel of our days. So, because of the wisdom of God upon our daddy, it was later confirmed through the mystic handwriting that I now say, ah, ah, so of a truth, this is the Daniel. And then even before the, when I saw mom, mommy was ministering, then the voice was, I was struggling in my heart that this could be the wife for our daddy. I said, I began to rebuke that voice. So what kind of voice is this? Even until I went home, the thing was just struggling. Why would just such kind of evil talk be coming to my mind? But when, when the wedding came up, I later discovered that, yes, it is from the Lord. In my church again, when I got in contact with Holiness Revival Movement, God started using me. I was speaking to them in Equa Church then in Gombe. So it came to a point they started doing so many things, organizing crusades. They would be careful with some of the brethren among you who are bringing false doctrine. So they said that all those people that had revelation of heaven and hell, they are all liars. Our reverend will come and condemn so many things. So I was disturbed. I said, who should we hear again? If our reverend will come and say this thing, who again? I say, God, boy, if you are still speaking, I want to hear from you. I devote my time. I begin to pray to God. God confined the message of our mommy, Linda, that is from him, and took me to the scripture and gave me a revelation. Amen. Later. Hallelujah. My name is Solomon Shinfei. I want to talk about uh, the revelation of uh, our brother in Namibia. Mm. He has a key, let me say, an emphasis. 
He said on that revelation, he doesn't know Pastor Porika, he doesn't know Sister Linda. He didn't know holiness movement. He didn't know holiness movement. He had never met and heard of that. But it was on the revelation that it was revealed to him that this is the movement of God and then he should come and join because he was even contemplating whether he should join or not. But he was told specifically that he should come and join the movement. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I would have testified how we came to join Holiness Revival Movement, myself and my husband, but my name is Sister Justina Odion. Praise the Lord. But let me talk about uh, this. There is these two sisters in Zambia, two sisters that the Lord always give divine revelation. One of them, Zipporah and uh, Rachel Mushala. I think it was the Rachel herself. The Lord gave her revelation concerning uh, what she had when the Queen of the Coast was uh, discussing with her agent. In that discussion, she said, Holiness Revival Movement is of the Lord. The Queen of the Coast was planning seriously against Holiness Revival Movement, how to attack Holiness Revival Movement and many other things. And she also mentioned how holiness revival movement is of the lord jesus is the one that founded holiness revival movement praise the lord so, sir can i mention how we came to join holiness revival movement uh, in the next two minutes three minutes praise the lord it all started in 2012 that was when we heard about holiness revival movement so in 2013 there is this man from lagos witness uh, this person we we know him through holiness revival movement so he said he had program we happened to or part of organizers of that program in fact we part of people that sponsored that program in 2013 that was around june so at that program i remember i was selling cds i bought linda cd plenty on a table because we are the people organizing the program so i was selling the cd the title of the message that very day he preached was test every spirit he condemned sister linda message he condemned Kai, me and my husband we went back home what kind of message is this? We were Which confused. Which church was your husband coming from? Deeper Life. Okay. We are in Deeper Life. So we were confused. The next day, because it was a three days program, we wanted not to attend the program again. But being that we are part of the people organizing, we had to, we had to go the next day. So that time, the, in a dream, the Lord told me that we are hearing well, so there is no problem. No shifting. That we should go and buy the uniform of holiness revival movement i woke up i told my husband this is the dream i had because of the confusion we had from the program of uh, this man so when i told my husband my husband did not believe me i was angry in my spirit i said to you know dream you that had the dream you believe what you saw but another person may not really believe you that's the way i just took it so after like six months that was when uh, there, this program they had in christian center thanksgiving of pastor rica wedding at Christian Center, we were there, 2014. So after the program, we went back home. That night, I had a dream. I saw myself back in that program. I never knew that it was even a dream. In that dream, the person that moderated in that program, he was announcing that everybody should go and buy uniform of holiness revival movement. So in the next day, I was happy. Thank God my husband had it. Maybe I told him six months ago that I had a dream that we should go and buy uniform of holiness rubber movement. He did not believe me. Now they have announced it. Everybody buy uniform. I never knew that it was a dream. So I was happy. I was happy that he had it. So it was in, in, in the evening we were discussing. I said, did you hear that man announcing that everybody should go and buy uniform of holiness revival movement, that program yesterday? He said, no, nothing like that. I said, I, I tap you like that. Did you hear that, what that man said? He said, no, there was nothing like that in the program. I said, eh? So it was a dream. I said, oh, it's a dream oh, that everybody should buy uniform of holiness, revival movement. Still, he did not believe me. After like six months, the same dream, the Lord visited him. Immediately, he received that dream that he should go and buy the garment. He, his own was garment. My own is uniform, uniform twice. His own is garment of holiness revival movement. That's how, in fact, being that we are workers in deeper life, he left me. Me, I was a youth worker. Immediately, because he doesn't waste time if he has conviction on something. He doesn't, he takes decision immediately. He went and meet our, our district coordinator. 
he told him he will no longer be a worker he will no he want to join holiness revival movement that's how we came to join holiness revival movement praise now, the lord bring the microphone to the husband who is now the coordinator of uh, nyanyazun uh, let us hear him briefly praise the lord three minutes or whatever mm. just like my wife did explain that is exactly what happened she had a vision she told me but when i got my own i didn't waste time i went to meet the district pastor i said if i even explain to them they would understand mm -hmm. i just told them i want to leave the workforce it was a battle the battle persists then ro i think that uh regional oversight sent for me and my wife he said what is it here that i want to lead the workforce to join the movement so, yeah this is god himself speaking we stayed we tried to convey we explained in detail he said no i said sir this is the voice of god i heard the voice of god i cannot listen to the voice of god because i know i heard the voice of god he was not happy but then he told me tan sha te i said sir because he was angry i said sir pray with us he prayed reluctantly he prayed but he told us he said tan sha te i want to share this again there is a sister the husband is a chapter leader now he was the one that took over for me she was in deeper life also something happened not even in our remote he said she has been hearing about pastor porica but she doesn't even know the this person in person he basically but they went for a program they were there pastor rica came daddy came he said that was the first of seeing him then he saw glory of god as a then in the parlor she saw the glory of god on daddy he said ah, what is it what is it that she is seeing he saw the glory the power of god he said she has never seen that type of thing testimony advanced brothers and sisters for us to know that God, because like what that is about to say, I had of it, I did that kind of, when my wife told me there is something going, she said something, I wave it off. Because I know I had the conviction, God said, go and join this movement. And that is the reason by the grace of God we hold on to the movement. Because we know it is of God. Yes. Praise the Lord. I want to pick the message of mom, um, Mommy Bester. Okay. Which she said, uh, God has given her mystery writing. She says, there's nobody in the world that can interpret that mystery writing apart from Pastor Forica. Which is, if you look at the mystery writing very well, you come to discover that it's a writing that, in your normal sense, as a human being, you look at it as something different. But we thank God for the glory of the Lord that he has chosen for the Porica to be the interpretation of this word. When we look at it in our generation, there's nothing like this has ever happened. So the recommendation of God concerning him is clear. And what I want to say again concerning Pastor Forica, among the messages of all the pastors in the world, if you pick 20 and then add their messages and compare with his own message, you come to discover that it's a message, no matter how you heard God, if you, if you listen to his message, like 20 to 30 messages, you come to realize that there's truth in this man, and truly God has chosen him. The way God is using him and the wisdom all. Um, something happened to us, we went for evangelism. When we put some of his messages, people are saying that this man is fake, this man is fake, this man is fake. When the message goes to the middle, the people that they are saying, people now come back to their senses. They say, truly, this man is a true man of God. And concerning the messages on the YouTube, one message where it is true that he said that we shouldn't be reading any messages on the YouTube. I read this message, I hear what they are saying. Had it been, I don't know Pastor Forica, I would believe it straight. But because I know this man, I'm working close to him. I come to understand, I begin to warn people. I said, you that you don't know this man in person, don't conclude because the message if you look at the way the man is speaking you think say is the angel of the lord that is speaking the man speak gently and quietly to tell you that how devil work but we thank god we have gone ahead of the devil no matter how what is happening so we should be very careful if you are in this holiness please listen to the messages and other things finally is the man that i brought from the first time to this campground a bakery man when i brought the man for the first time the first message he had 
the testimony of the man he said we are finished the man is from Equa church he said truly this place there is god his first time he said it's here that he come to know that there is god there is no god in any other places apart from this place so the same thing anywhere you go both our messages evangelism that we are moving from village to village people come to understand what is the the world are looking for if they are condemning this man let's say we take first of all out of the way who are we going to defend who are we going to believe again in this world pick one person somebody that we are going to believe but as for me as a person during the problem of pastor thomas sambu the devil want to carry us away but i said if we go away which which man of god are we going to trust and by the way god has given a message to thomas sambu that you walk through this man so my advice for the world if you are a minister and everything it will not reduce anything for you we that we are working in this ordinary Bible, pastor vorica has no full yoke on anybody to follow by force we are just following this man willingly with all of our heart and when you come close to him except if you are of the darkness then you have problem with him but if you are of the light you will not have problem with him anywhere you come to forica if you are dark you know darkness and light cannot come together except there must be a great separation so the problem is happening and most of the people they are disciplined them when you look at them they don't want to be corrected I talk to myself, even in our dead churches, they will rebook us and post us by force to do everything, and we are following. Talk less about the holy rebook. When somebody rebook you, at least when you rebook you, you have done something wrong. If you have not done something wrong, who will rebook you? And one thing, please, whatever we are here, we are of truth. Our word is truth. And except people that they are following in hypocrisy. If you are in hypocrisy, one day I believe, when you come to contact with this darkness you disappear so the people that they are running away they are of darkness the people of the light they will still come in so i advise that the lord will bless us and will help us and my prayer for him is not easy the lord will give him and this exam we should gather around that rica if you whatever has given to you we should gather it very soon we will soon leave this world praise the lord so the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Now we we'll go back to our scripture, John chapter five, first John chapter five. Again from verse nine. If we receive the witness of men, what do you, what does the Bible say? The witness of God is greater. If you have great witnesses like this why do you bother again with the witness of men what will it take you to where will it take you to god knows above these people and say pastor rica is here the bible says the stone which the builders have rejected what happens to that stone it is now the chief cornerstone can God recommend something to you and you say no? You will come and discover that no wisdom, no knowledge will pass the Lord. I want you to know that the forces of hell, did you know here that Satan said, when I come to shake holiness movement, myself, not just my agents, now it's my agents doing it. When I come to shake holiness movement, then you will know those who are holiness movement indeed. And those that shall endure, it is better for them. The, for, the new things that will come will not affect them. Did you hear so? Then where you think, where you know, all fools and slow of heart to understand what the scripture has said. That's what Jesus even said to his disciples. Now you have been corrected. Come into your senses. Withdraw from those people. Uh, some, Moses said, if these people die common dead, the Lord has not sent me. So withdraw from the tent of, of uh, Korah, Dotan, Abiram. Withdraw from the, the tent. Have you heard? Now let's go on again. 
Verse 10. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. What does that mean? If you accept these things, you yourself will know. Nobody can remove you. You have the witness that this man is from God. You have the witness that this lady is from God. You have the witness. You will know. If you listen to the testimony of Sister Linda, you will know that these words are coming from God. They are inspired. But ye cannot hear me because ye are not of God. That's what Jesus said. Ye cannot hear me because ye are not of God. He that believeth on the Son of God had the witness in himself. He that did he that believeth not God, what do have they done? They have made God a liar. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. Not pride, but let me pass this word. Have you come across a preacher in the whole world that has this universal testimony as you came across Pastor Rekha? Then, where are you bothering? God has given a record. It shows that God knew the challenge because this is the ultimate ministry. It's the final work. As the Lord said, he is coming now. So, the battle is hottest. It is injury time. It's injury time. You have not had a person announced like this. You have not had. Yes, but why then do you think God had to take time to announce Pastor Rekha, Sister Linda, over and over. Let me give you one reason. In the book of Matthew, we're still coming back to this place. Matthew, chapter 7. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 24 and 25. Therefore, whosoever hears this, hears these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. The Lord wants to build the conviction of members of holiness movement on Pastor Rika and Sister Linda upon a rock. He wants to sink your conviction deep. That is why he kept on repeating the same thing. Repeating the same thing. Even men do that. They keep on repeating some announcement or some just phrase. Maybe during the political era. Uh, politics is for peace. Love one another. Do this. And they keep on repeating it. The Lord wants your confidence on these people to be great. To be strong. Why? Because of verse 25. And the rain descended. And the floods came. And the winds blew. And beat upon that house. And it fell not. For it was founded upon a rock. The Lord knows that your faith will be tried because of the power of the world that shall shake the movement. The power of Satan that shall shake the movement. Why did the hidden rage? Why do the kings imagine vain things? For the kings of the earth set themselves and gather themselves together against the anointed. Against the anointed. The Lord's anointed. This is what is happening. They have gathered. 
and the Lord knows it that the forces of witchcraft in the world the forces of darkness of various occultism shall all meet together on Pastor Rica. they shall all meet together on Sister Linda because this is where authentically the fresh world fresh revelations will be coming to the world and this is a great weapon so that is why he caused this to be coming up from various quarters of the world a black American didn't know us all he knew was a people abused he didn't even know holiness movement minister these people are always abused sister linda he went into prayer and they to say who are these people and the lord confirmed him and he came to say i don't know these people but the lord told me they are right men who had it while she is speaking who also heard of the white woman on the knees speaking about Pastor Paul Rica? Praise the Lord. You heard it. No, you have spoken too much. I want some new, new, new people to make their contribution. Yes. This message was sent from America because even the American brethren, Pastor Ama and the wife, sent it to me that they are trying to track the man on was facebook but is i think he's just he just came up they cannot able to get him then i now call jeremiah check this thing we listen to the message we are trying to get the man but it's not somebody that is on facebook you know there are some people that you will just upload something you don't have a account on facebook but this man was everybody in america ah, he's a born black american person not africa to say i was born in africa so when he came up everybody was shocked because black american people they are not in all this our holiness we are doing so when he came up so my wife sent it to me that mommy see what god is doing oh, this is a born black american person that it is hard even we that are staying in america it is hard for we to have a black american to come to join holiness then we listen to the message. What he what the man was saying. That finish, what, finish. That's that okay. Is, Jerry, did anything happen like that? Yes, actually we were trying to track the man did on he YouTube. Did he tell you what he came up with? Yes. White woman now. What the Lord spoke to the white woman. And she spoke it out. Give it to her brother. Praise the Lord. Um, the white woman's name is Victoria G. I can't remember the full name now. And she has a series of videos that she started releasing on internet when I was going to the internet then. Um, one of the videos was that uh, God told her that the ministry of Pastor Paul Rica is a true ministry. That he doesn't preach like the Americans. In fact, he gave she gave example of uh, how the Americans are ministering, that they don't make impact. But when Pastor Porica ministers, he makes impact because he is of God. Then in another place again, she said that the Lord opened her eyes and showed her that uh, the ideal marriage that anyone will have, and she didn't know Pastor Porica before, she said the ideal marriage that any person can have is like that of Pastor Porica and Mommy Linda. And the Lord showed her a number of things in that video. There's another one again that um, she was sitting in the church and the Lord showed her, I can't remember exactly, but the Lord showed her that see the man of God. And she saw somebody that, um, Pastor Porica, who loves God so much, saw somebody that he was surprised to see the man going to hell. There are so many series of videos she has released. I can't remember all of it's them. a woman. Yes, a woman. And, uh, her name is Victoria somebody. No, I mean the person she saw. That Pastor Rica loved so much and had confidence in her so yes. much, but died. And yes, went the man to died her. and went to her. Do you know that that thing happened practically? It is a mystery. Mystery. It's okay. Now, I trust you are healed. If any sickness, bacteria, or whom, or what has been troubling you, you have been healed. 
in Jesus name now let's go back to uh, let's go take Matthew chapter 11 chapter 9 chapter 11 verse 1 to 5 1 to 6 and it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ he sent two of his disciples and said unto him art thou he that should come or do we look for another this John was the one that declared Jesus was it not so the Lord told me uh, there's somebody among us who should slouch it and not worthy to stoop and unloose. He shall baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And the Lord told me, upon whom ye shall see the Holy Ghost descend and remain, that is he whom the Lord has sent, the Christ. Did he say so? Maybe this, at his own, maybe suffering affected his conviction. Because he was in prison and Jesus didn't do anything about it. Being God, it's your time. We are finished. You have finished what I planned for you to do. And I want to give you a greater reward in heaven. That's why you are passing through the martyrdom. So be peaceful. Just I I I have you in the bowels of my heart. Don't think I don't know what you are passing through. I will do it and shorten the time there for you. But then, see, John didn't see Jesus come doing anything practically. Hey, maybe the man is not the one. That's why, maybe some of you have started doubting now. That's why we come back to give you the Jesus reply. Everybody call, say, the Jesus reply. Pastor, Pastor is giving us the Jesus reply. Now, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. You have seen the signs. You have seen the works. Not just physical blind, but even physical blind see. Not physical deaf, but even physical deaf hear. That's what God has done. Through the ministry of Pastor Rica, on this blind world, deaf world, sickly, gospel sick world, salvation, redemption, revival, restoration, holiness, righteousness, spring is filling everywhere through the ministry of Pastor Rica in books, in conferences, in tapes, in all. Blessed is he who so ever shall not be offended in the ministry of Pastor Paul Rica. Let's go back to 1 John. He that be verse 10, he that believeth not on the Son of God had made, had the witness, I mean, he that believeth on the Son of God had the witness in himself. He that believeth not, not God, hath made him a liar. Because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. If you stand aloof and say, no, I forget, no. I Me, mean, I'm saying we saw a writing with his signature there. We will take you to go and see that that writing, that writing has nothing to do with Pastor Rica. Nothing. 
But how your signature is there, I will now tell you about mystery of iniquity. And God knows this. God knows this. My conscience is not defiled. I remain the man I told you. Then what happens? With the continental leaders, the coordinator in charge of um, uh, Asia, Pastor Alex, the coordinator, the coordinator in charge of Europe, Pastor, Ma, um, Pastor Bright, the coordinator in charge of America, Pastor Ama, yesterday in a Zoom, we shut them all this until their eyes open. Say, hey, with documents. Their eyes open. This is mystery. Do you think we're telling you lies? Then what are we gaining here? What do you see the house I am living in? What am I gaining in this ministry? That I should be telling lies here. Leave those people alone. Amen? Amen. Withdraw from that side. The enemy is a liar. Say the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Say it again. The devil is a liar. Let his lies not destroy you. Amen. Must you know everything going on in my life? The secret thing belongs unto God. But the things that are revealed belong unto us. Must you know everything about Holy More is impossible? Even I that I'm speaking to you now is impossible. Many things go on, I have no knowledge about them. Like all these things have no knowledge until just this week. They say, hey, a false document. They say, how? How did it come out? How? I couldn't, I didn't have an idea about it. Until I myself started investigating. How did this thing happen? We called Pastor Nat because this thing was under his time. How did you do this? He said, even myself. I was angry. Well, if the Lord grants us more chance, you in holiness movement will know what God wants you to know for your faith. Is that okay? But don't bother yourself again. We have won the election. Come back to the testimony of the Lord. Come back there. To save yourself. These things are non-entities. They have no place. They are working in the kingdom of Satan. They are not for us in the kingdom of God. Believe divine report. And let's move forward. Refuse to believe divine report. You are fighting with God. Because God has given us sufficient facts to help you. But man, some are some have made up their mind to die with Satan. Withdraw from them. So, verse 11. And this is the record that God had given to us. Eternal life. And this life is in his son. You know well, the Lord has spoken what did the Lord say to Prophet Cornelius? You had his testimony that for 20 years the Lord told him that in the next 20 years I will, you, you will see the representative of my movement coming to you. For I'm bringing a movement to the world. The headquarters shall be in Abuja. And it shall be a non-denominational movement. Did you hear it? And that, that was right back to 20 years. Then when it remained five years for the representative to come to him, the Jesus came again to him. Remember I told you, in the next five years you are going to see, you will come in contact with them. 
exactly five years. I, our brethren in Oshun State, in Oshogo, were looking for a place for chapter meeting and came across his house and said, we like this house. There's a divine God that is doing all things. Follow him. Many are called, but few are chosen. Strive that ye may enter. For many will want to enter, but they will miss the way. They will miss the way. And he said, and the man said, I want all, that the Lord said, all ministry, all churches should come to holiness of our movement. Is that what is the Lord told him? All churches. One of the proofs that the Bible is inspired word of God is that 40 authors wrote it. Each write, writing his portion in his own generation. Spanning for the period of 1,600 1, and something years that each in his generation wrote and the other didn't know it. But when their weights were collated, they were speaking one word. It said, this is scripture. This is more than the weights of men. Can you not see holiness? Can you not see godliness in a holiness movement? Prophesied several years before it came. Prophesied the, 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 the leader prophesied in 1961. And God collected all this and formed the all speaker of the holiness movement. Is that not mystery? Just give a clap offering to Jesus. Amen. And the prophecy came out clear, both by the prophecy of 2016, that people shall leave this ministry and shall be used by Satan to attack this ministry. The Emmanuel, Bulus, that is sending this thing to you. How many of you were there when he was excommunicated from this church? Raise up your hand. Emmanuel carried a woman. A lady came for youth conference. Somebody directed that lady, one of our sisters in Taraba State, who directed the lady to Emmanuel to give CUG, this uh, glossim, to her. Emmanuel was in production unit. Told the woman, the lady, okay, I will do that. And during rest on Friday, when we are, after food, you go to rest to come back. He might carry the woman to my house for immorality. The, the woman thought that that's where the CUG was. She had no knowledge. It's on stage. She said, wait here, let me take bath. Eh, CUG and taking bath. Until she the lady saw immorality. And sneak out and jump my fence because Emma had entered the gate and locked it jump my friends and the wire tore her tie our neighbor was there the neighbor to the left hand side was preparing something in the open this lady she saw these things she saw when he might enter with the girl. But since they know this is pastor's house, iniquity is not there now, she didn't have any business. But the lady jumping for the fence. Ah, what's happening here? She had attention caught at the lady. The lady, so she went to her. I came for a conference. And Ima brought me here. That for, C U, for one thing he was to give me CUG. I didn't know it for immorality. Now, she had no money in her hand to return here. Neither did she know where she was. The woman said the last hundred naira she had, she gave the, the girl. The girl went back to the roadside. And the angel of the Lord walked it out 
that the motorcycle woman, the motorcycle boy, I think she would have told the motorcycle boy the story. That I came from holiness movement camp. This is what happened. A woman just gave me 100 naira. The boy carried him to Wazobia free. It is in Wazobia she get, got into vehicle and came back. And the program ended that day. The story was not here. Some mean sins come after. She went and reported this thing to her leader. They reported to the state of state of Asia or state coordinator of uh, Taraba. Who got this story to me that Sunday? I told my wife and the wife of Apollos and who again and the brother Aha, uh -huh, brother Jerry, move to the wood, to the to the house quickly in Guagualada and find out whether these things are so. The woman said yes and started explaining anything, everything. She's still there as a witness. And when Ima was called privately and I said, nothing happened like that. I'm not even aware of what these you people are saying. Ah, ah. Mercy is for, there for the repentant. But this one is not repentant. And I knew it is like that. I excommunicated him from holiness movement. Is he now the one that should be feeding you with information? Unrighteousness? And when he left the movement, he kept on sending me texts. Eh, I didn't do anything. After some months, actually, I brought a lady. Uh, actually. Can you see? And you don't know the details because you can't know details. I knew them. Now, is it this boy that should be feeding the world with information that is shaking holiness movement? I told you to withdraw yourself. Because that group you are giving attention to, the wrath of God is upon them. Is it because we are acting Christianly? Did we tell the world his problem? We didn't. Somebody suggested, let the world be told. I said, no. Let us not tarnish his image. What if he comes to repent again? Because the, world, the Lord also has not told me that if a brother offends, take it to the whole world. That's not scripture. So I won't do that. Said nothing. Now, they use our Christian simplicity to destroy the work. And you are citing them. They have given you relevant information we want to investigate. Kai, I want you to save yourself. Please save yourself. Give microphone to Victor. Victor will tell you more about Ima. Say it. Don't fear any person. Praise the Lord. It happens that uh, we were living in the same place with him. In the apartment there. I begin to notice some changes in his life. Some weeks or some months after when I started living in their place. He don't, uh, you don't see him praying. You don't see him studying the word. Always is on the internet, internet, internet. And uh, as time goes on, I begin to see some uh, immoral things going on with him. I, I, I don't know him much, so the other people that were with us, I thought maybe they are aware of him, so I kept quiet. Uh, later on, it happens that there was a sister I gave my phone to be using for the meantime when her phone was stolen. So she put her SIM there. And when she got her own, she gave me my own back, so I continued using it. I don't know anything. When I put my own SIM in that phone, I begin to see some messages coming in, coming in, coming, coming in into the phone. I decided to check who is sending me a message because I'm not using the phone for a long time. When I check, I saw that uh, it was a message from Ima communicating with a sister. Ima Bulus. Emmanuel Bulus communicating with a sister. 
among us. The sister, the sister you gave that borrowed your yeah, phone. Yes, the sister I borrowed my phone to. So he thought the phone was, was still in the still, sister's yes, hand. Yes. And communication which had been with the sister, the sister. right in January. Yes. Had now continued. Continue in my phone. So I, I traced the messages back to when they started, when I gave her the phone. And I saw that it has been a long time, even before I gave her my phone. I think they have already been communicating. And in that communication, I don't want him to stay too long. He began to tell the sister he will marry you. Is it one of the sisters cooking in the, cooking in the kitchen? I will marry you. I will marry you. Uh, okay, but I must test you first. I'm telling you, we had, and we discovered he had not been a Christian. This boy should be occultic. From all we have studied, we conclude him in that way. I will marry you. I will marry. And went to the sister's house to rob her in the house. And we didn't know. I told you, it's not everything that's going on that I know. It was the day we excommunicated him that that story came up. His Victor now came down. I said, there are more. Then, after he had left, maybe two, three months after he had left, four months. He sent to me that, and uh, not only that, uh, when my mother died and I went home, I took a girl to a hotel. These are corrupt. Is it this man that is now your captain leading you forward to face Walimore? You know where you are. You know where you, the party you belong now. Go well, you will not return. You will not return. Whoever you are, you are no wiser, greater, holier than angels in heaven. They didn't keep their heart with all diligence. They didn't spend time to hear. Their conclusion will be what? Proverbs chapter 5. Proverbs chapter 5 from verse 8, from verse 7. Hear me now, therefore, all ye children, and depart not from the weights of my mouth. Remove thy way far from me, from her, and come not near the door of her house, lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger, and thou mourn at the last. When thy flesh and thy body are consumed, and say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined mine ear to them that instructed me? You will be crying like that. But to you who are wise, the camp. The camp you find yourself in is satanic camp. The letter that came to you in your WhatsApp, in your internet, in your Facebook, in your email came from the kingdom of Satan to enroll you for end time backsliding for many shall turn away from the faith. Given he to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils from such turn away. Let's rise up and thank the Lord that he has really, unknown to us, come out like this with this message to save our lives. Tell the Lord, forgive me. For reading such a thing. How much more to say, I want the answer. You want the answer to what? Stay to the witnesses of God. He has given you records. God has given you report. 
God has given you his testimony. He has given you his witness concerning his servant. Concerning Sister Linda and her message. Stay with it. Don't listen to the witness of Ma. Satanic Ma. Evil Ma. They are, in their, they are coming from their kingdom. Kingdom of darkness. There is no light there. name we pray make me holy make me holy make me holy oh Righteous. righteous, I want to be righteous, Lord. Oh, my God, in the morning, in the night. Make me faithful. Faithful. I want to be faithful. Oh, my God. Make me blameless, blameless. I want to be blameless, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Make me spotless, make me spotless. Oh, my God, in the morning, in the night, any time. Spotless, oh Lord. Go to the Lord and recover yourself. If spots have come into your life, if these people have brought iniquity upon you, and now you have spoken foolishly, go before the Lord and seek cleansing from him. If these people have put demons into your spirit, go and plead with God, let those demons leave.
the Lord to purge you with his own blood. Tell the Lord to forgive you. If you have lent your heart to these people, you have lent your lips to these people, you have been defiled by them. They have affected your eternal life. Plead that God should restore you. Plead that God should restore you. Jesus name we pray you know the extent these people carried you you know the utterances that started coming from your mouth you knew the person you passed this evil to to involve him and corrupt him you know the evils you have done you will seek the Lord for cleansing and pray until he restores you. Then learn your lesson. But I will pray for you as a church that the Lord will forgive the church. The Lord will protect the church because it's not everybody that they carry it away. Even the coordinators uh, that we dealt with, the Europe, the Asia, this, he, they told me you don't need to bother to co convince us. We know you cannot lie. We know you cannot lie. So you don't even need to, need to bother. There are Christians here who know also that I don't need to bother. But there are those who say, huh? they have said it now. And we want to hear too. Well, since you are a member, I must save you. But only a word is enough for the wise. I've given you a word. It should help you if you are wise. Else you're all together a fool like them. We want to pray that God will visit holiness movement and give us victory in this battle also. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray Almighty Father we bless you we give thanks to you 
Because known unto God are all your works from the beginning of the world. Known unto God are the plans of Satan, are the ways of man. When thou was under the oak tree, before Simon got at you, I knew thee. In this, in for a very deed have I raised you up to show my power in you. You stole Pharaoh. You would have killed him if you were a fearful person in the battle. No, let him come out with his battle. That the world might know my presence, my works, and how I, I back up my people. Thank you, Father. You will do this in Jesus' name. You will give us another victory, public victory, worldwide victory. Holiness revival movement will be lifted up again, higher and higher and higher in Jesus' name. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3900. Or zero eight zero five six eight three four three two three. You can also reach us through our email address Holiness Revival Movement at Gmail dot com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my
believe in you. You are the living Savior. Savior. Jesus, I believe. 